So there is another effect called frustrated internal reflection, in which case now we don't have just a liquid medium that we may uh, can bring into the vicinity of the total internal reflection surface, but we, we have a second sort of medium with a high refractive index that is solid that we bring close to it. And now interestingly, there's a wave optical effect. If it comes close enough, we can still get this effect of transmission. So precisely speaking, this doesn't need to be the distance zero as it is shown here, where of course the light will just travel straight, but it can be a tiny little gap that is sort of on the order of the range of the wavelengths, then, then we can get still light going here. So for those who have heard quantum mechanics before, you might know this effect as the tunnel effect in quantum mechanics. And in optics, we speak of what is called the evanescent wave, which sort of forms as a bound optical wave, if you want, to the surface, and it probes a little bit the space outside here. And if there's something else there, it can then go into that medium and a part of it can go through. So we will demonstrate this with the next experiments, but to make it big enough for you to see this effect, we actually do it with microwaves rather than with optical waves. So this is total internal reflection with frustration based on microwaves.